Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to your seventh tutorial on PHP programming. And we've got a problem. And our problem is, first of all, what we're doing is too cumbersome. So let's review the process. What we've been doing is clicking on our PHP shortcut folder, which is on our desktop. We've been opening up Boilerplate in Dreamweaver or Notepad. We've been adding to that Boilerplate, changing it and correcting it. And then we've been going to our instance browser and typing in localhost and running the program. So for example, let's just type in one of our localhost programs we're running. We'll look at uh, strings. And we've been running our program. And that is a very cumbersome process. Basically, we've got two or three steps going here. It would be nice if we had an integrated environment where we could just do it all. And there's another problem, too. I mean, I don't just program in PHP. I program in ActionScript, I program in Java, I program in C++. It'd be nice to have an environment where we could, once again, just do it all. And that environment is Eclipse. And so we're going to go ahead and download Eclipse and start working with it. I'm going to show you some of the basics and get you rolling on programming PHP and Eclipse. So the first thing you want to do is just go to your browser and type in PHP and Eclipse. And if you do that, uh, the following site will come up. And you want to go to this site and download Eclipse. And let's go to that site right now. So I've typed in my browser PHP and Eclipse and it's brought me to this download site for PHP and Eclipse. And just come on down here. And you know over time this will change, but the procedure is the same. Just look for the PHP Eclipse and I'm going to actually download the all-in-one for Windows. And if you're on a Mac, just choose the appropriate download. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to download that to my desktop. Now the installation for Eclipse is extremely simple, so don't <laughs> make it more complicated than it actually is. So I've actually downloaded Eclipse. I have it on my desktop. And forgive me for my messy desktop. Believe it or not, this is just a week's work. And here's the clips right here. And all you want to do is just unzip it. And when you unzip it, it's just a folder. And there's no installation. You just drop that folder somewhere on your hard drive. And so I've done that. I've created a folder on my documents drive called Eclipse PHP. And I just pretty much just unzip that folder. And here's all the contents that was inside the Eclipse folder. And real important here is the Eclipse icon. So go ahead and right click on the icon, make a shortcut. And once you make a shortcut, just rename it PHP. So you know you're working with PHP. And then drag that shortcut to your desktop. So now to run Eclipse, all you have to do is click on that Eclipse PHP. And let's go ahead and run the program. And up comes Eclipse. And here comes the most essential part you've got to set your workspace. If you do not set your workspace correctly, Eclipse will not run. Now, Eclipse is different than other programs. So typically in other programs, you create a program and you save it somewhere and you save it wherever you want to. But what you have to do with Eclipse is designate at first where you're going to save all your programs. So when you open up Eclipse, it's going to ask you where your workspace is. And here's the most important piece. And if you miss this, none of your programs will run. Just as in the case before, all your PHP programs have to run in your root folder. So Eclipse has to point to that server root folder. So when we installed WAMP on this machine, we put it in the C folder, and in that WAMP folder, there is a www, that's your root folder, and that's where all your PHP programs must run. And that's also where we have the PHP course. That's where we've been running everything in the past. So that's all I have to say. Make sure that your, once again, just make sure that your Eclipse workspace is set to the root folder of your WAMP or MAMP server. So we're good. Hit OK, and Eclipse will come up. And so now we're actually in the Eclipse development environment. And let me just say a few things. If you're used to Adobe Flex or Flash Builder, you're going to go, man, this looks just like Flash Builder. And yes, it does, because Flash Builder is built on Eclipse. So if you know Flash Builder, working with Eclipse is going to just be like falling off a log. And if you don't, learning Eclipse will help you learn Flash Builder. And we will be moving on to advanced Flash Builder projects as we proceed in this course. Uh, we'll just make a few points right here. This is sometimes called the Project Explorer. You're going to hear me refer to it as that and that's because that's what Adobe calls it and here's where your coding panel is and then you have a little outline panel over here and you can change this environment there's a lot about Eclipse and we'll be covering it step by step as we move through this project uh, the most important thing is over here is you need to make sure your perspective is set to PHP and so if you click on this you can see uh, you can have other perspectives so right in this environment I can program in Java and I can work with XML, and I can work with PHP, 
And so I actually can use Eclipse to work with a number of different languages. And for now, we're just going to use this Eclipse for PHP. And as we move on, I'll show you how to integrate other languages and other environments in it. So just make sure that you're set to the PHP uh, perspective is what it's called. And just a little bit of explanation. Up here is a Windows. Up here is your Run button. Right here is your Debug button. All these are important things. File will enable you to create projects and files. And uh, but many times I just right click on the space in the uh, workspace to actually create a project or file. We're going to go through that in a moment as we create our first program. But once you create your PHP program, you guys can run it from here. So enough talk. Let's go ahead and create a program and show you how easy it is to program in Eclipse. So let's go ahead and create our first project and then create a file and let's do Hello World in Eclipse. So let's create our first project. So right click on the white space here and go to New and go to PHP Project and let's just give it a name and we'll call it PHP Lessons. Okay, And just hit Next and hit Finish. And you've created a PHP Lessons. Now notice I have a bunch of little red X's in different projects here. That means there's errors in that project. And here's something new. Eclipse is extremely powerful in editing programs. You'll be able to accelerate your program uh, coding by a factor of three within Eclipse just because it's such a great IDE. And once again, you'll be able to integrate many different languages. So what we've done is we've right-clicked on the white space and created a PHP lesson project. And what we need to do is actually create a file in there that we can run in PHP. So right-click on the projects folder and just go new and PHP file. And when that comes up, you can just go ahead and type in a name of your file and we'll just call it Hello World. And then hit Next. And you have the option to, to uh, create a PHP file or a frame set. Stay away from frame sets, they don't run in all browsers. And the PHP file will be somewhat incomplete, but you can paste any code you want to. Once you have your PHP file set up in an appropriate project, you can just run it as a PHP program. So hit Finish. And you get a little bracket here, and it didn't complete it for me, so I'll just put a question mark and complete it. And so now I'm ready to start programming in this environment. Another thing I could have done is just went to my projects folder that I'd been using for my previous course and just paste all that content in there and run it. Let's do that instead. So I'm going to go here to my projects folder, a PHP course, and let's click on boilerplate. So here's my folders. Click on boilerplate. We've been using this a lot. Bring up Dreamweaver, and let's just copy that. So just copy that, and we'll just start a hello world from that. And so this is extremely versatile. You can start with any sense project you can create your own templates and just paste it in and this is going to run inside this environment so let's open this up so you can see it here we go and now let's do a hello world and we'll create a variable called my hello and we'll let that equal to a string hello world and we'll echo it to the screen so just exactly all the same program you've been doing before but now you're doing it in this nice development environment and we'll just echo out the string I like to copy and paste things as well you see now everything's fine, and what I want to do is save this program. So right here is the Save button. And when you save programs in Eclipse, it, they will, uh, in a sense, edit to see if there's any errors. There's no errors. And now I just want to run the program to see if it works. So here's my Run button right here. So just click that. And make sure that you're, you're clicked on the program you want to run. And now let's run it. And there it runs. Hello world, right there. Right in my browser. Look. There was no going to local host. There was no switching things back before one editor and the other editor. It all happened inside of Eclipse, and that's just wonderful. And now all my project folders and files are in one place. So let's review what we've done today. The first thing we did was we went and we downloaded Eclipse. So just go to your browser, type in uh, PHP and Eclipse, and up will come the download site for the Eclipse. Download it, unzip it, and put the folder somewhere inside of your... Uh, Drive. I put it in my document file. Some people put it on the C folder. That's fine. Just put it anywhere. And then make a desktop icon to it so you can just click on it to open up Eclipse very easily. And that's what we did. And once Eclipse was open, we went ahead and created a Hello World. So we right clicked on the white space over here. You could also hit File and New. That's fine as well. And went to Project. And once you created our project, then we created a PHP file. And once we created our PHP file, we actually just copied and pasted some boilerplate that we had and ran it right in the Eclipse environment. Isn't that super cool? Once again, let me remind you, if you go to File right here, you can go to Switch Workspace. And so you could create other workspaces. But for this particular course, 
you want to make sure what? That you're in your WAMP root folder so your PHP code will run. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively. We're going to take it up a level in Eclipse. See you next time.